this is Mr. Martin. These are the uh, geometry notes uh, for Geometry Honor section 2.4. Um, this video is going to be talking about congruent supplements and congruent complements. Uh, so we're going to get four new theorems today. Um, rem right now we only have two theorems and uh, we actually proved one of them. We proved that uh, right angles were congruent. And remember for any theorem we could go and uh, prove it. We're just not going to for most of them. <coughs> so um, the first theorem says if angles are supplementary to the same angle then they are congruent so here's what this might look like if I have um, an angle over here I'm gonna call that angle 1 and then I have angle 2 and I have angle 3. So let's say we were given that uh, angle 2 is supplementary to angle 1 and angle 3 is also supplementary to angle 1. So we could see here that they're supplementary to the same angle and I like to use these visual cues with uh, boxes or circles or whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so based on this theorem I see that angle 2 and angle 3 are both supplementary to angle 1 so our conclusion would be that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. If they're supplementary to the same angle they've got to um, be congruent to each other. All right, moving on to the next ones. If angles are supplementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. So uh, another picture here. In this picture, we're going to have one more angle. So there's angle 1. There's angle 2. Here's angle 3. Here's angle 4. All right, so in this case, we would be given something like angle 1 is supplementary to angle 3, and angle 2 is supplementary to angle 4. And we would also know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So again, if I've got 1 and 2 are congruent, or yeah, that means that these have to be congruent as well. Okay, so we have angles that are supplementary to congruent angles. So our conclusion in this case would be that angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. So as always, if you have questions, make sure you write them down or make sure you ask me in class. Um, so the next two theorems are very similar, except now we're talking about complements. So uh, if angles are complementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. So <coughs> let's look at a slightly different picture here. You may recognize this picture. One, two, and three. So in this case, we may be given that angle one is complementary to angle 2 and angle 3 is complementary to angle 2. So we notice that they are complementary to the same angle. So our conclusion would be that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. All right, moving on to the last theorem for today. If angles are complementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. So let's draw a picture. Again, our pictures are going to vary. So we could have something like this. There's angle 1 and 2. Here's angles 3 and 4. And we may be given that angle 1 is complementary to angle 2 and angle 3 is complementary to angle 4 and we would also know that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. So if you notice 
here's angle two and three here and we see that they're congruent so if one and four are complementary to these congruent angles then our conclusion would be that angle one is congruent to uh, did I do that right? I think I mixed something up here, but that's okay. Uh, pictures not to scale. Uh, one congruent to angle four. <coughs> so, obviously the way I drew it, that's not how I intended it to be, but again, you can't assume relative size of angles, um, so it's fine. So, again, we've got angle one and angle four. They're complementary to congruent angles. Two and three are congruent, therefore one and four are also congruent. So, We've got a couple examples here. Um, we don't really need any pictures for these. Uh, if you want to pause the video and see if you can answer these, go ahead. Otherwise, um, just go ahead and uh, write along with me. Um, so we're going to come up with the conclusion, and then we're going to write the theorem that justifies that. So for number uh, example one, I've got angle one is supplementary to four, and angle two is supplementary to four. So we can see that they're supplementary to the same angle. Therefore, they have to be congruent. So angle one is congruent to angle two. So if angles are supplementary to the same angle, notice they're both supplementary to angle four then they are congruent. Alright, moving on to example two. Here I see that four and five are congruent. So I have angles supplementary to congruent angles. So our conclusion would be angle one is congruent to angle two. If angles are supplementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. Moving on to example three, again just my visual cue here, I've got one, uh, they're both congruent or complementary to the same angle, so angle one is complementary to three, angle two is complementary to three, that means that angle one has to be congruent to angle two. If angles are complementary to the same angle. Notice in my box here I have angle 3 twice, that's the same angle. Then they are congruent. Alright, last example. Here I've got 1 is congruent to 2, and here I have 1 and 2. So 1 and 2 are congruent. 3 and 4 are complementary to those congruent angles, so that means that angle 3 has to be congruent to angle 4. If angles are complementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. All right, so uh, if you paused the video and uh, tried to work on those on your own, hopefully you did okay. If you uh, didn't and you have questions, make sure that you ask me in class. Um, eventually, we're going to get some other theorems that are very similar to these. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a clear understanding of what's going on here. We'll see you in class.